On December 7th, Sargon of Akkad and numerous other creators were booted from Patreon for their political views. They moved to a new service called Subscribestar. That ended in disaster. Now, Subscribestar is making a comeback. Just a quick recap of what we're talking about. Uh, on December 7th, 2018, Sargon of Akkad and other creators were booted from Patreon for their political views and for behavior that Subscribestar deemed unworthy of their platform. Many of these creators moved to a competing service, a very small competing service called Subscribestar, and within 12 days, on December 19th, Subscribestar's payment processors, Stripe and PayPal, were yanked. In what some are calling collusion between PayPal, Patreon, and Stripe. The harassment campaign that followed Sargon of Akkad across the internet to Subscribestar and got Subscribestar uh, deplatformed from Stripe and PayPal resulted in all these creators losing their support, losing their financial support. It also demonstrated a certain mentality within the tech industry. Birds of a feather flock together. And you have, you, and the companies within Silicon Valley all seem to be aligned ideologically and use their terms of service to boot people from their platforms that they, that they disagree with ideologically. Now, that is their right as far as I'm concerned. However, chasing those subscribers to the new services and then destroying the capacity of those services to compete with you in what looks like a colluded effort is a bridge too far. After December 19th, after Subscribestar lost their payment processing abilities, they've been struggling to get back up online. I have a Subscribestar account, although I haven't really used much of it yet because I think I subscribed right before the payment processors were removed from Subscribestar's platform. Well, Subscribestar took weeks to find a new payment processor that would accept not only their money, as a via their processing ability via their processing systems but also banks wouldn't accept money so they had to find new banks as well but just yesterday subscribestar came back and not only are they back stronger than ever but they've implemented cryptocurrency into their funding models not only did subscribestar get their payment processors back to handle fiat transactions like US dollar or the pound but they also implemented an ability to accept over 50 different cryptocurrencies on their platform putting it way ahead of Patreon as far as innovation is concerned. I've long said that cryptocurrency is gonna play a major role in artists and their development and funding of alternative media and projects. And it looks like Subscribestar has taken the first step in really launching uh, cryptocurrency into the creative sphere. I mean, the ability to take 50 different cryptocurrencies really opens up the door to uh, dissident voices, people that feel like they, they don't get represented on various platforms, a way of engaging their community in a direct, peer-to-peer -peer fashion, a way of bypassing sensors, a way of building a new economy. I'm really excited for Subscribestar. I was, I was tweeting at them uh, just recently after I heard the news if whether or not they're gonna accept Steam. I hope, you know, hopefully that'll happen. I would love to see Steam integrated into the Subscribestar payment platform. That way, people who aren't into social media or people who just aren't into cryptocurrencies at the moment can participate in cryptocurrencies, you know, in a, in a seamless, uh, idiot proof fashion and I'm just I'm I can't tell you excited I am as soon as I heard that Subscribestar had begun accepting 50 different cryptocurrencies That's victory sweet sweet victory Crypto is gonna be in filmmaker and artists and writers lives I wish I had actual champagne or actual vodka for this martini glass This just tastes like patreon's tears to me it's so delicious. I think that Subscribestar has made the right choice here. I'm excited for them. I'm excited for the creators that are on it. I'm going to build my page on Subscribestar really soon. As soon as I get a moment to breathe, uh, these vlogs and working on uh, the dead files is keeping me extremely busy. But um, yeah, this would definitely be better if it was uh, champagne. 50 different cryptocurrencies. That is a huge leap forward for artists. This represents a, a very a frictionless way of people to get involved in cryptocurrencies while supporting artists. So not only can you be a part of Steam and, and enjoy the social networking and earning cryptocurrency, but you can accept Litecoin now and Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Uh, I'm currently on Bitbacker, a service that I really like, but um, you know, if, if Subscribestar's model is as good as I'm hoping it is, I might have to switch away from Bitbacker. Uh, but maybe I'll keep it up just as a, as a backup. I don't know. That's it. That's the bit of news I got for cryptocurrency and film. Uh, the march continues forward. Uh, I am excited for that, and 
you should support artists and I think you should support alternative voices and I think you should support com competition. Uh, otherwise, Patreon is a monopoly and as we all know, monopolies, they kind of usually suck. So uh, to the monopoly Patreon, I think it's time that you, I don't know, bent over something. That's, a, that's some good cran cherry right there. That's some... Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.